What's going on YouTube? This is Wayne with Wayne's Fishboard and I've got a depressing video for you guys this week. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video that's, you know, unedited. This is going to be like old school me talking to you guys about my fish and it's a really depressing video. But I'm going to show you guys some updates and whatnot in this video so stay tuned. We've got a lot of good things. We're going to talk about some stuff coming in the future of Wayne's Fishboard. But anyways, it's that time of year. Everyone's getting sick and unfortunately so did my fish. If you guys have been following my channel, you guys know that I had an outbreak of a fungus infection, a bacterial infection, and it, it, it wiped out my ballast sharks time after time. Well, I treated the tank, I quarantined the entire system, it was gone. And this just goes to my point of quarantine tanks and what I think about them. If you want to know my opinion on that, you need to watch my video of quarantining fish. I'm not going to go into this video. But I lost a lot of damn fish in this 125. I went away for three days. I, I didn't feed my fish for three days, and that's perfectly fine. Fish in the wild go that long without being fed. Um, it, it, it's not really a big deal. I know the lack of food was not the reason the fish died. It might have dropped their immune system slightly, but it, it shouldn't have done that to the fish. Now, you're probably saying, wait, I still see angelfish. What's the problem? <laughs> You're seeing the only angelfish I have. There was 11 angelfish in this tank. I lost three koi angelfish. I lost one of my big marbles, the, the made it pair. That one. I, that one was the prettiest one and it survived. But I lost the other one. I lost the three marbles. I lost the little white blushing. I lost uh, the three kois. If I said that already, I can't even remember. But that fungus infection came back. And if you guys look here, it's a mess. I'm sorry. I have been dosing. A lot. I've been dosing fungus cure. I've been uh, dosing triple sulfa, sulf sulfate, whatever it's called. I have been dosing the living hell out of the system, and it came out of nowhere. Uh, I came back after three days, and I noticed all my fish had a cloudy eye. And if we get up close, this new angel's doing really good, but if you look on the other side of his eye, you can see it's cloudy. And let me go to the one of the cars. Luckily, the cars are pulling through. Uh, one's doing a lot better than the other. The other one is uh, back here. If you feed it, it does come out. You see he's doing good. Um, the angelfish from KD Tropicals, he's still doing good. I gotta do a water change. To, yep, the water looks kinda yellow and stuff because of the medication. But I lost both the ballast sharks. I lost a lot of angelfish, and it really, really sucks. I'm going to be taking control of this tank though, but dosing sick fish. Um, I was doing this whole thing before, you know, 10 bucks here, 10 bucks there, that adds up. And when you're dosing a big tank, like a 125, 220, something like that, it's a lot of medication. So I was thinking, you know, I went to PetSmart or something, Walmart maybe, and I started dosing Milafix. Milafix is generated from, I think, a tea tree, and it's the active ingredient, and I'm going to probably kill the name, but it's a... Uh, the active ingredient is, uh, shoot, Melaleusa, Melaleusa, or something like that. If you know how to pronounce it, put it in the comments below. But, um, that's me trying to pronounce it in the first second I just read it. But, this is just 1% Melaleusa, and we all know I can't pronounce it. But, this right here, my friends, is API Pond Care. This is a more concentrated version. I was talking to the owners of the local fish store, and they said they used to use this stuff back in the day. Mm. And this, on the other hand, let's go back to this. This meal fix treats, I think it was not 400 gallons, 600 gallons, 470 gallons. It's one percent that word. This, my friends, treats 19,000, 19,000 U.S. gallons. That's 71,921. 20 liters that's crazy so I did the calculations if I do one dosage for the rest of the tanks lifespan this bottle will last me 2.43 years so yes this bottle is kind of pricey you can find it online and get some free shipping and whatnot it's kind of it's kind of pricey but it lasts that long and the expiration date is uh, on the back and of course all medications and food 
go beyond your exp expiration date, but this is what they got to give you. The expiration date is six, June 2018. So uh, uh, it'll actually go past that if I dose my tank once a week with this stuff. What do I think about Mila, uh, Mila Fix? There's Prima Fix and Mila Fix. Mila Fix cures bacteria infections and funguses, and that's exactly what's broken out in my system. Why it's killing the fish, I, I really don't know. Um, <laughs> I've got a great detailed video about this stuff, and I got it figured out, and why it was coming, and why, what triggered it, but <sighs> why it came back, I'm not too sure. I, I'm not too sure. Maybe the fish got in, into an aggressive pecking order dispute, and it left wounds in their body, opened up to infection. But long story short, what I've decided to do, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, one teaspoon treats 150 gallons. I'm gonna fill my tank up tomorrow probably, but uh, I hope I don't spill this thing everywhere. And I'm sorry my lid's dirty. I've been doing some maintenance and, and dosing my tank and stuff. I'm trying to keep my fish alive. You know, maintaining the cleanliness is not my priority, even though it should be. But, oh my God, you can get high off this shit. <laughs> this has got an extremely uh, powerful smell. Meal fix. Okay, meal fix. You can smell this in your house when you're dosing if you run an air pump. This is five times stronger than regular meal fix. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right here with the air stone and the uh, fluvial FX return. I'm just going to dose, pump that in there, and it's going to bubble up a little bit. You know, that's not. Ex oh, God, it burns actually, damn. But uh, you can see it coming out of the cap green. But, you know, what the hell was I saying? But uh, it's going to bubble up and stuff. It's not recommended if it's to have uh, it bubbling up. This stuff does not affect your uh, beneficial bacteria, your live plants, your invertebrates, your fish. It doesn't affect anything. It's all natural. It comes from uh, the tree, the tea tree. And that word again is uh, uh, mela. Come on, camera. That word right there. It's 1% here and it's 5% uh, 5 here. So this stuff works. It's worked in the past. Uh, I really wish I didn't spend the money on the uh, on the uh, fungus cure, and the sulfur cure, and the triac cure, whatever I had. But the Mule Fix works, and I plan on dosing this tank once a week. It sounds unnecessary. It's like a band-aid to the problem. But I don't understand why this fungus or bacteria is coming back. Is it in one of my fish? I have a feeling. I know what fish is it in. And uh, I have a feeling it's in the angel fish that came from KG Tropicals. I'm not blaming KG Tropicals. I just think that's the fish it's in because I, I, I just I got a, I got a gut feeling. If you, I just I think that's where it's really originating from. But uh, next week we're gonna have an, an, another video that's gonna be really really exciting. I've got so many great video topics up up in the uh, working. I've got so many and I want to work on them all at once, but I don't have the time. I really want to bring uh, multiple videos to you guys. A week but I, I just don't have the time and uh, I'm gonna try to pump out great content to you guys more often uh, some people are thinking about a daily update on Facebook or something tell me what you guys think about that I want to show you a little sneak peek uh, I was gonna save this for another video but <laughs> we're gonna show you right now Wayne's Fish World racking system this is gonna have to do with waynesfishworld.com you heard me waynesfishworld.com this is gonna be an announcement in 2016 coming up soon that I just can't wait to announce and I, I'm very happy for it but some of the platy fries from the pond outside, they're right there. I'm sorry the glass is dirty. I'll clean it later. But another little update for you guys. It will be in another video. Um, everyone was saying, turn this tank into a seahorse tank. Turn it into another saltwater tank. Take it back. I've been dosing Kemi clean. And like I said, there's going to be a video series on me cleaning this tank. But why is there so much aeration in this tank right now? Well, when you're dosing Kemi clean, you want to make sure the heavy aeration because it messes with stuff. Um, I could run an air stone, but I, 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 in a sump I made an adjustment and this air constantly going in here. Is it causing stress to that blue green reef promise? Probably, but uh, I think he's fine. But if you guys notice, there's a cool insert that I made two years ago in this tank. And if you guys want to check it out, hit this video right here in the annotation. It'll bring you right to it. But that is giving me an idea, and I am going to touch up on that in the future. I'm thinking about making serious changes to the 55 gallon. I might redo my sump area and put another 55 gallon on there so I have a 55 on top of 55. It's going to be in future videos, guys. This is Wayne's Wayne's Fish World. I hope you like this video. If you have sick fish and you got some tips and stuff for me, 
or the YouTube community, definitely leave that in the comment section below. Hope you liked the video. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button. That will help me a lot. It will support my channel. Hit the like button. Share it if you want. I'll see you guys next week, possibly sometime this week, coming with two videos. Don't know yet. I'm going to try to work some things out, but I'll see you guys next time. This is Wayne with Wayne's Fish World. Later.